Section 1.3 is setting a price. So there's a few definitions I want to go through first. The first one is markup. Markup is called a percentage added to the price of an item. So a markup is a percentage added to the price of an item. Usually stores charge a markup based on what they, they, what they pay for the item. So they will buy items and they will sell it to you at a markup, at a percentage added. GST, of course, is the goods and services tax, which we don't have anymore, but it was 5% across Canada. PST is the provincial sales tax, which is different in different provinces. So if you live in BC, now actually we have the HST. But if you live in different provinces, there's a different rate for provincial sales tax. HST is what's called the harmonized sales tax, and in BC right now it's 12%. So we'll base all our calculations with 12% HST, depending on what province you're in. Taxes are percentages of the original price that get added when you purchase an item. So when you buy an item, they add on tax, and it's going to increase the price. So when you see the price of an item on the shelf, that's not necessarily the price you're going to pay. For example, if a clothing store purchases t-shirts for $6, socks for $1.49, and hats for $12.95, the store's markup is 25%. The first question. How much would you charge a customer who purchases two shirts, one hat, and six pairs of uh, socks? So, no taxes in this one. So we have to look at the total for the price. Let's see here. So they're purchasing two t-shirts, two t-shirts, and each t-shirt is $6. So two times $6. Next, we have one hat and hats are $12.95. So plus one times $12.95. Next, we have six pairs of socks, and each pair of sock is $1.49. So I have plus six times $1.49. So I have to work out the total first. So two times six is 12, we know that. $12 plus 12.95 plus 6 times 149 is 8.94 and then I have to add all these values together so I have 12 plus 12.95 plus 8.94 which is equal to 33.89 now this is how much a clothing store purchases the stuff for. They're not selling you for this price. They're purchasing each item for this amount of money. So they're going to actually charge you what's called a markup. And the markup, remember, was 25%. I'll use green. The markup was 25%. So that means I have to take my 33.89 and convert 25% first to a decimal which is going to be 0 0.25 and I multiply 33.89 times 0 0.25 to figure out what their markup is. So there's 33.89 times 0 0.25 is equal to 8.47. So that's $8.47 markup. That's what they're charging you. So what does the customer actually pay? Well, he's going to pay the markup, but he's also going to pay the original price. So the customer is going to pay $33.89 plus the markup of $8.47. So $8.47 plus $33.89 is going to be $42.36. Now, Every time, anytime you're dealing with money, always round to the nearest hundredth, which is tenths, hundredths, so the second place. Because you're dealing with money, you want it in cents. So always to the nearest hundredth. So the customer pays $42.36. What if the clothing store charges 5% GST? Then how much would the customer pay? Right, because there's taxes too, right? And let's say this in this province, they don't charge PST, they just charge GST, and they're going to charge 5%. So what I have to do now is, again, change 5% to a decimal, and as a decimal, that's 0 
don't forget how to change it to a decimal, right? We take 5, the percentage, divided by 100, whoops, not 1,000, 100, and you get 0 0.05. So I take my original price, or my price up here, sorry, the price the customer pays, which is $42.36. I have to multiply it by my 0 0.05, so this is the GST. $42.36 times 0 0.05. I get two dollars and eleven cents, or two dollars and sorry, twelve cents, because it's going to round up. Two dollars and twelve cents for my GST. Now, what's the total? The total is going to be my original price, which was forty-two dollars and thirty-six cents. Well, the original price with the markup, and then plus the two dollars and twelve cents. So two dollars, so forty-two dollars and thirty-six cents plus. $2.12 is $44.48. This is the price the customer will pay. Notice that the, the store is only paying $33.89 for all those items. They're charging you $44.48. Why do you think they would charge you more money for it? Why do you think they charge a markup? Well, you might have ideas. Maybe they have to pay for staff. Maybe they have to pay for their building. Maybe they have to pay for heating costs. So all these costs that, are, uh, that happen in a business are usually taken care of by when they sell items. They also have to pay their employees. So your assignment is in your workbook. It's page 47, numbers 2 to 7.